This afternoon, high school hockey from the Ogdensburg Golden Dome, the midwinter tournament. Our broadcast today being brought to you by Reynolds Metals, North Country Chevy Dealers, Frenchies and Barstow Motors, North Country Savings Bank, by Collins Brothers Sunny Service Station, the A-Plus Mini Market, North Country Sports, Messina Savings and Loan, Bogosian Carpet and Furniture, Seacom Federal Credit Union, by Dixie Lee, Homestead Dairies, and the Messina Building Supply. Jerry Manor and the return of Reg Cross this afternoon, and we're underway already in today's hockey game between Messina Red Raiders and the Plattsburgh High School Hornets. And nothing much has happened. Messina's had a couple of opportunities early in the game, and we're going to have... Uh, an interference call as this game is just underway. That's going to go against Plattsburgh High School. Steve Miller, the left wing on the second line, will get the call for interference. And uh, Messina will go on a power play. Messina with a lot of power play opportunities last night. They were able to get one power play goal, but uh, mostly through the uh, outstanding play of the Bishop Timon goaltender. Goaltender by the name of Jim Casca kept Messina off the scoreboard on the power play except for that one time. But Messina going on here with Kevin Craner coming out along with Chris Parker and Jeff Tayo, Chris Sidden, and uh, Brett Schneider out there to play at the points. Off the faceoff back in Plattsburgh territory. Parker trying to pick it up. It goes in behind the net. Coming back for Plattsburgh as they try to move it around and getting it out of there is uh, Mark Jolin. Jolin loses to Tayo in the corner, feeds it behind to Parker. Chris Parker with a puck for Messina now, dropping it back to Brett Schneider on the 45. Back to Parker in deep, trying to get it back again. Knocked away. Parker has to come back for it. Parker controlling for the Raiders over to Tayo. Tayo with a puck about halfway out. Goes back to Parker behind the net. Messina very patient so far. Parker moving it around. Gets it in front all by himself. Shot saved. The rebound. Where is it? Right in front. No big save there on a shot by Sidden. And it's underneath Jason Miller. And that did everything. Went in the net. It did go in the net, Jerry, after the whistle had blown. I, I really don't think the uh, uh, Miller, the goalie for Plattsburgh, had full control, but it was out of sight of the referee. The whistle was blown. Of course, uh, once the ref loses sight, the whistle blows, and that's Wait it. Wait a minute. No, that, it, it is the goal. That, I thought the whistle had blown. The light did not come on, Jerry, but uh, Arnie O'Reilly uh, facing off at center ice, so Messina goes ahead. One to nothing at a power play goal. Okay. Jeff Tile gets the goal for Messina. And Parker picking up the assist. So Chris Parker getting, uh, or Jeff Tile rather, getting the goal from Chris Parker. And we got an icing call on Messina. That'll move the faceoff back into Raider territory. So the Raiders get a power play goal here to start off the game and go on top, one to nothing, which uh, already makes this a different game than last night's game. Messina spotted Bishop Time in a 2 nothing lead, but then came roaring back with six straight to win it going away. Tommy Post out there playing defense has the puck poke checked away. Labarge from Messina with it now. Labarge gets tied up into the corner, but manages to free it. Eric Brown doing some forechecking, but Messina clears the zone. It's Convertini. Convertini trying to feed it ahead. They jam for it. That was Bigelow. He couldn't come up with it. Plattsburgh dumps it down the ice. That'll be an icing call against the Hornets, and that'll move the faceoff back down into Plattsburgh territory. 11-24 left in the first period. One to nothing, the score. Again, they started a little bit early here. Of course, uh, they're running two games of this tournament. OFA will be playing Bishop Time in the second game, so they want to keep things rolling right along, and you'll notice that they do not take much time between periods. The, uh, the Zamboni driver, unlike the one we saw in St. Albans, Vermont, <laughs> likes to try to set speed records. Convertini will take the faceoff against Dave Tremblay. Off the draw, the puck in the circle, controlled by Plattsburgh. It's Steve Miller out to center. No, it can't be Miller. That's uh, Chauvin. Chauvin loses. Convertini back the other way. Offsides. And uh, Eric Wiley, I believe, was just a little bit ahead of the play. Actually, about a, a step and a half ahead of the play. So offsides will be called against Messina. Faceoff moves outside Plattsburgh territory. Raiders make a line change. Pat Tracy coming out with his line mates, Jeff Fauché and Jeff Johnson. And uh, it's going to be Trombley out there centering Roscoe and Cushman. Or Roscoe, that is, and Cushman. Off the faceoff, Mike Adams from Messina dumps it deep in Plattsburgh territory. Chauvin picks it up, loses it. Tracy, Tracy going for the corner, missed it by about six inches. Puck along the boards, out to center ice, controlled there by Dufresne, moving into the Messina zone, back out, back in again, controlled by Plattsburgh, side of the net it goes. Jeff Johnson from Messina picking up the loose puck. We have a whistle, and we got another penalty. I think we're going to have matching minors. I think matching minors, uh, Jerry, in front. 
Dave Trombley will be going off for right. Plattsburgh Trombley and Mike and Adams I. for Messina. Let's see. High stick on one. I may be on both. But uh, they, as I mentioned to you before the game, Reg, they called a real tight one last night. It was uh, Wayne Humel and uh, Greg Walsh. Now it's Humel and Arnie O'Reilly. And they appear to be calling it pretty tight here this afternoon as well. So we're going to see four on four, plus the goaltenders. Johnson and Fauche will be out there taking the face off. It comes back to the point. Here's a shot, and Jimmy Kenny makes a save and holds on. He kind of dropped it, but again, the official lost sight of the puck and blew his whistle. So the face off will come to the left side. Jimmy Kenny starting in nets for Messina today. And Jason Miller, who's a fine goaltender for Plattsburgh, uh, starting for the Hornets. Brian Cushman will take the face off, gets it back to the point. Eric Reed with it over on the other side. It goes to Dufresne, his shot, and it goes in the net as Jimmy Kenny had it and then lost it, I believe, or it hit somebody in front. But anyway, Plattsburgh has tied the game up at 1-1. 10.38 left to play here in the first period. And I believe that goal will go to Connor Dufresne because he took the shot. However, it may have been deflected on the way through. We'll, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, it is a Plattsburgh goal. And the Hornets go on, uh, or have tied it up, I should say. Cushman will take the face off against Craner. Cushman out there. And Messina controls. Here's Sidden trying to stick it into the corner. Has it taken away by Brown. Brown dumps it back out to center ice. Going for it is Cushman taken out of the play. And picking it up is Brett Schneider. Schneider has got Craner with him. Dropping it to Craner. Craner picks up the loose puck. Can't find the handle. Tayo following. He can't control it. It's picked up there. Trying to get out of the zone, but it's kept in at the point. By Tayo. Around the boards, Craner back to Schneider at the point. Schneider has to go back in the corner to Craner. The puck goes around the boards. And along the boards, picked up by Eric Reed for Plattsburgh. Loses to Craner. Craner drop pass for Tayo. Poke checked away. Goes by Sidden back to the Messina blue line. Sidden jamming for it along with Brian Cushman. Puck in the corner. Cushman looks to tie it up. Sidden is there, but Cushman can't tie it up. Sidden slides it ahead, and uh, Jeff Tayo picks up the puck. Tayo now head man of Craner. Craner across the blue line. Here comes Kevin in the zone. Gets a quick shot off. Miller makes a nice save. Puck around the boards. Tayo dumps it in behind the net again. Back for it is Eric Reed for Plattsburgh. Reed backhands it to the blue line. Kept in by Tommy Post. Post loses to Reed. Reed headman, but doesn't get it out. Here's a shot and the save. The bouncing puck in front. Parker scores. That shot taken by Tim Thompson from the right point. And goaltender Jason Miller made a nice save. However, he left the rebound there. And there were two Messina Red Raiders taking wax at it. But uh, Chris Parker was the guy who got a hold of it. He had an open net to shoot at and did not make any mistake and puts Messina on top 2-1. to one. And I have a feeling, Reg, we may see a lot of goals in this game. Sure, starting off that way, Jerry, as Messina goes ahead. 2-1 uh, to one with 9.15 to go, first period. Pat Tracy line out there for the Raiders. Mike Adams with a puck in his own end for Messina. Adams looking to move it ahead, being bothered. Gets it finally to Fauche. Fauche lets it go through deep in the Plattsburgh zone. Back for Plattsburgh is Chauvin. But we have a whistle, and we're going to have another penalty. And it's going to be a slashing call against Plattsburgh. I believe Eric Brown will get the gate for slashing, and Messina goes back on the power play. They do have a power play goal here this afternoon. So Messina goes uh, back on the power play as Plattsburgh gets a slashing call. And we have Pat Tracy staying out there with Johnson and Fauche. Thompson and Adams. Bucci will take the face off. That's Marco Bucci. Around the boards it comes. Oh, Adams missed it. And here comes Plattsburgh with an opportunity. Breaking in is Skoski. His shot, save made by Kenny. Puck comes in behind the net, and Tracy picks up the loose puck from Messina. Pat Tracy now motoring it out of there. Across the blue line to center ice. Here's Tracy taking it in the zone. Plattsburgh uh, playing into Messina's hands here as they back into the zone, putting no pressure on at all. Messina setting up the power play. Adams trying to get the shot through. It's knocked down. It comes to Fauche behind the net for Messina. Fauche dropping to Johnson. Johnson in the corner. Back to Fauche. Back to Johnson. Here's Jeff with a puck now behind the net. Circling it around. Trying to move it to Thompson. Thompson 
Running into a little trouble. Back to the blue line, and Tracy can't keep it in. We have a whistle. Got a and penalty. It's going to be a penalty. It's like Jeff. Johnson and Messina yeah. going off. <clears throat> Messina, a little problem. Uh, Plattsburgh backed into the box, but uh, Messina moving it around the outside didn't really get any good opportunities. That'll even things up for 41 seconds, then Plattsburgh will go on the power play. 2-1, to one, Messina leading. Messina will be playing Plattsburgh again uh, twice before the end of the season. Off the faceoff. Here comes Tracy trying to break through. Has it poked away by Chauvin. Chauvin back the other way for Plattsburgh. Into the Messina zone. Tracy intercepts. Goes to Mike Adams. Adams steps by a check. Leads the attack. Three on two for Messina. Adams trying to drop to Tracy. He didn't see it. And the puck picked up there by Bucci. Bucci gets railed. Adams throws a check. Fauché picks up the loose puck. Has it taken away from him. And back the other way comes Eric Reed. And Thompson hauls him down. There's and another, he's going to get called penalty. for holding. That was a takedown. If this yep. was wrestling, that would be a takedown. Jerry. Get two points for that. <laughs> yeah, Instead of, he gets a minute and a half. So now, Messina is going to be down two men in 11 seconds. So we've only played uh, about seven minutes and some odd seconds here in the period, and already we've seen a whole bunch of penalties. No doubt about that being a holding call. All he had to do was rub him against the board also. He... There was no need for the holding. All he had to do was rub him against the board, and he would have stopped him. Plattsburgh well, almost started with one too many men out there. They're still on a penalty themselves for 11 seconds. Faceoff will be Trombley taking the draw against Tayo. The puck picked up by Brett Schneider. Schneider trying to move it out to the blue line. Has it taken away from him by Miller. Miller now back to the point. It goes to Chauvin. Chauvin over to Reed. Reed from the middle. The shot saved by Kenny. Puck goes over the net. They back pass it. They've got a two-man advantage as well. Back it goes. Over on the other side, Brown. Here's Chauvin. Chauvin fakes the shot. Goes to Reed. Reed, the drive. High over the net. Puck goes into the corner. Brian Cushman after it. Back to the point it goes. Chauvin. Here's Chauvin faking the shot. Goes to Reed. His shot way wide. Goes into the corner. Knocked down. Here comes Messina. Back to the point and out to center ice. And a good defensive play by Brett Schneider to take off the pressure. 15 seconds left in the first Messina penalty. Out to center ice it comes. Steve Miller with it. Dropping it back to his point. It goes to Reed. They're still outside the zone. Reed goes over to Chauvin. Chauvin takes it across. Three seconds. Two seconds. We're just about out of the first penalty as the puck goes free right in front. Fauché picks it up. Fires it to Tayo who dumps it down the ice. About 23 seconds left in the second penalty. So Messina now just down a man. With six and a half left in the period, Messina leads it two to one. Jeff Johnson for checking. He's got the loose puck, dumps it back in the Plattsburgh zone. Back to pick it up there is Dave Trombley. Trombley being forechecked by Johnson again, but following up is Eric Reed for Plattsburgh. He picks up the puck. Here's Reed dumping it in the Messina zone. I think they're going to call that right. icing, perhaps. Right. He let that go just before he got to the center red line. Uh, Jerry and Arnie O'Reilly sitting right there in the red line says, hey, that's icing. So all the way back in the uh, Plattsburgh zone, we got two seconds left in Messina penalty. Then it'll be even up. Messina doing a pretty good job killing... Uh, penalties is Plattsburgh really had a couple of shots uh, not on net and from way out. Off the face off. That'll take care of the penalty right there. And Messina back to full strength. Thompson almost forgot to come out of the box. Okay, we're back to five on five hockey as the puck comes to the Messina blue line. Jason Labarge feeding it to the Plattsburgh blue line. Back comes Plattsburgh into the Messina zone. Racing fourth there is Warren Horner. Horner bodied off the puck. It sits free. Comes right in front of the crease, but Jeff Johnson's going to pick it up from Messina and break out of there. Here comes Johnson down the right wing. He's going to drive it, and the save made by Miller. Back to the point. Labarge, he gets one, dumps it in the corner. Fauché after it. Here's Fauché circling in the corner, right side of the goalie. Centering pass, and Convertini misfired on it. He was in a good position. And the puck comes back out, and finally it's picked up by the Hornets, Mark Jolin, and he clears the zone. Here comes Jolin trying to hit his winger. Into the zone it comes. A shot right on from deep, and Kenny makes the save. We have a whistle. We got a misconduct. I think Fauché is going to get a misconduct. <clears throat> Wayne Umel is calling the misconduct. He pointed toward the Messina bench, and uh, right, Jeff Fauché. Is that for? I'm, I'm not sure what it's for. He, he lost his stick in the corner, Jerry, and then he skated, what, toward the box? But I, I don't know what 
what that was for. It is a misconduct. Yeah. We don't know what it was for. So Fauché will be uh, be sitting in the box for the rest of this period and part of the second, although Messina will not be down a man as a result. See if we can pick up what it's for. Here's a shot by Plattsburgh, not a hard shot. Kenny makes the save. Wiley picks up the loose puck. Head man of Convertini. Convertini going on the wing. And it's Bigelow in the corner for Messina. Bigelow trying to go to full shade. Back to Bigelow. Full, or, uh, Convertini backhand shot. Save made by Miller. Puck goes around the boards. And Messina trying to put some pressure on here. Trying to control it is Skoski. Skoski behind his own net. His pass intercepted by Bigelow. Puck bouncing loose. But it's picked up by Eric Brown for Plattsburgh. Brown dumps it in the Messina zone. It comes in behind the net, stopped by Kenny. He's going to leave it for Thompson. Thompson feeding, trying to feed Wiley, gets the puck back again. Trying to feed Wiley again. It's intercepted, and the puck squirts free. Finally, it's picked up by Convertini, and he gets it out of the zone. Dump back in again, and it goes up into the stands, and we'll have a faceoff uh, outside the Messina zone. 4.28 left in the first period. Messina leading 2-1. to one over the Plattsburgh High School Hornets. Marco Bucci is walking uh, on the runway here below us uh, for Plattsburgh. Apparently hurt his ankle a little bit. Okay, Craner out there now with his line mates from Messina. Sidden, leaning it ahead. Back it goes, controlled by Schneider. Schneider trying to feed it ahead. Craner just dumps it in the corner. In behind the net, Eric Reed after it for Plattsburgh. Reed trying to dump it. Goes all the way down the ice. But one of the Messina players touched it on the way through. The icing will be waved off. Schneider loses it. Comes right in front, but it's controlled by Sidden into the corner. Sidden drops it back for Schneider. Schneider racing right side now in the Messina zone. Schneider headman goes for Parker. Can't get it out of there. Bounces in behind the net again. Here's Sidden's going to try the left side. Steps by a check. Now he carries it ahead for Tayo. Here's Tayo across the blue line down the middle. And he just dumps it in the corner and goes after it himself. Here's Tile behind the net. Has it poke checked away. Davey Trombley back to pick it up for Plattsburgh. He's going to just swipe it around the boards. Brett Schneider steps in front of it, trying to keep it in there. Schneider feeds it in behind the net. Picked up there by Cushman. Cushman starts out for the Hornets. Can't get it out of the zone. Tile gets a piece of it. Following up is Reed, and he dumps it ahead for Cushman. And Cushman fires it into the Messina end. Jimmy Kenny stops it behind the net now. Sidden. Fires it around the boards for Tile, and Messina breaks it out again. Headman pass. Here comes Parker. Parker goes through by the defense, gets a shot off, the save made, and it goes wide, and Kevin Craner ran into the net and knocked it off its moorings, and the faceoff will move outside the zone. So good opportunity for Messina, but a good save by Miller. Got the shot a little high. I think if they had that shot a little lower, they would have got a rebound. Actually, the side because Kevin Craner was Kevin, Kevin Craner right was right in there, almost follow, following the play. It was a two-on-one. Uh, a little pass there might have made a difference. I think <laughs> could have. Of course, that's easy for us to say. That's right. Yeah. Off the face-off, Pat Tracy's line out there for Messina. Puck goes back to Messina's zone, and it's dumped into the corner. Post out there with Labarge playing defense now for Messina. And Post has it, trying to slide it ahead. Can't get it out of the zone. Comes back in behind the net. Post after it again. Bangs it ahead. Takes a funny bounce right in the slot. Labarge has got it. Circles behind his net. Trying to feed it over to Post. Comes right in the slot. Kenny has to make a save. And he dives on it. Messina with a little problem well, there, clearing their own end. A little problem, in, uh, as you say, clearing your own end. And, and uh, when you do that, uh, the odds are the opposing team is going to get a shot on net. That's what happened. Save was made by Jimmy Kenny. We got two to one with Messina on top, 237 to go in the first period. Off the face off. Puck behind the net. Labarge with it. Feeds it around the boards for Johnson, and Jeff starts out. Johnson for Messina. Headman right on the stick of McCrack in the backhander. Save the rebound. Another save. Puck goes behind the net. Now Jeff Johnson after it. Good opportunity for Scotty McCracken. Johnson loses the defenseman. Comes in front the backhander. Nice save again. The rebound in the slot. Tracy, shot, save. The rebound goes to McCracken. Good line here. McCracken dumps it in the corner. Johnson right in front. Tracy can't get that shot off. Puck dumped out to center ice. Slides down the ice. That'll be an icing call against. No, they wave it off. And Post has to play it. Post kind of slowed down when he saw the icing call. 
Now Post feeds it around the boards. Meant for Johnson. Stepping in front of it there is Plattsburgh. Is, uh, that's Eric Reed. Back to the point. Reed again. His shot. High over the net. Puck whistling all the way around the other side. Connor Dufresne keeps it in. The shot right on. Save made by Kenny. Puck comes free over on the right side. Jeff Johnson from Messina picking it up. Headman goes to Tracy. Tracy just pokes it in the Plattsburgh zone. Goes after it, but it's poked back out to center ice. Johnson with it. And they jam for it along the boards. Johnson comes away with the puck. Steps by a check. Here comes Johnson. In on the right side. Trying to get the shot off. He does and fired it wide. That Johnson, uh, Pat Tracy line had a lot of good opportunities. But now Messina changing lines. Here's Adams at the point. Just dumps it in the corner. Puck around the boards for Eric Reed of Plattsburgh. Convertini forechecks him into the boards. It comes free. Wiley picks up centering pass. And a shot right on by Bigelow. But the save made by Miller. It was not a very hard shot. And Miller right there to glove it. And we're down to one minute left in the first period. Two to one, Messina leads. In the last two shifts, Messina's put a lot of pressure Whoa. on uh, <clears throat> On Plattsburgh, both the Tracy line and now the Convertini line, uh, keeping the puck in the Plattsburgh and then making Jason Miller come up with a save. Convertini, Wiley, and Bigelow. Of course, McCracken getting a chance to play in uh, place of uh, Jeff Foshe, who's got a misconduct. Scotty, of course, had the first Messina goal last night. It was a big goal. Here comes Plattsburgh breaking in the Messina zone, a play broken up. The puck goes in behind the net, controlled by Plattsburgh again. It's Miller with it. Miller looks to go back to the point. And it's dumped by Luckin in behind the net. Now the puck comes free again, Miller. Trying to center it back to the point over on the other side. It comes free, Luckin. Luckin has it poked away by Bigelow. And Bigelow loses it, but it's picked up by Mike Adams. Adams feeding around the board. Meant to go to Thompson. It's picked up by Miller again. His shot right on. Kenny makes the save. That was kind of a real sharp angle for the shot by Miller. But Jimmy had the goal post covered and made the save and holds on. And Messina will make a line change. The Craner line coming out for the Red Raiders. And let's see here. For Plattsburgh, it's going to be the Tremblay line. And wait a minute. They're going to make a change as well. And we're going to have Jolin's line coming out. Mark Jolin, Sean Rasco, and Warren Horner. No, check that. Cushman's going to play the wing on this line. So Jolin, Cushman, and Rasco. Craner will take the face off against Jolin. Off the draw, Craner moving it ahead. Out to center ice. Kevin with a puck now in the zone. Centering it ahead for Parker. Broken up. Kept in nicely by Schneider. Beautiful play. Dumped in behind the net. Connor Dufresne after it. Craner steals it. Craner loses it. It's picked up there by Jolin. Jolin trying to move it out of the zone with five seconds left. To the Messina blue line. They jam for it. And Schneider controls it as the buzzer sounds. And will end period number one with the Messina Red Raiders leading on a score of two to one. Our okay, we're ready to face it off. Bucci out there against Craner off the draw. Puck to the Plattsburgh blue line. Dumped ahead. Bucci into the Messina end. Back there's Brett Schneider. Schneider kind of overskated it. Kenny has to cover up. Schneider went back for it, overskated it, and left it right on the side of the net. And Jimmy Kenny wisely put the big glove on it, covered up for the faceoff. So Bucci, who's out there with Skoski and Brown, will face off against Craner, who's out there with uh, Tayo and Parker for Messina. Off the faceoff, the puck comes to Craner, trying to move it out of there. Comes back in again, Sidden. Sidden circles behind his own net, stops, waits. Plattsburgh trying to forecheck. Puck controlled by Tayo. Tayo back in the corner. Ice looks real slow again here this afternoon. Picked up, and finally Schneider clears it ahead for Parker into the zone. Parker trying to feed it through. Craner right in front, shot. Oh, he oh, fired it wide. Oh, an open net. That doesn't happen very often, Jerry. Kevin oh. Craner missed an open net. The goaltender was out of the play, and Craner missed the open net. Coming back the other way, here's Craner trying to move it ahead. The puck took a funny bounce, bounces back to center ice. Here's Parker again. Yep, he missed Cr an open Craner's net. Craner's still shaking his head on that one. <laughs> Messina will make a line change. The Pat Tracy line out there. Tracy forechecking as Eric Reed tries to clear the zone. Johnson, here's Big Jeff with a shot. Nice save by Miller. Puck in behind the net. McCracken trying to center it. Tracy takes a whack to Johnson. Johnson back to Tracy. Pat shot. Save the rebound. Another save for Pat. Snake bit. Can't get that puck in the net. Another shot. Another save by Miller. He loses it underneath. It's still free. And finally, it's covered up. I believe the goalie's got it. Pat Tracy had a golden oh, opportunity. I'll tell you, it was a nice pass from Johnson. Johnson out in the slot. And he saw uh, Tracy just cruising right in front of the uh, net. Threw it to Tracy. And uh, Tracy had the shot. But... Uh, 
he has, I think, more tough luck. No, he hasn't had a goal yet this year. No. He's got a, a whole bushel full of assists, but no he, goals. He, Pat Tracy works as hard as anybody, Jerry, nope. but he just, nope. I don't know, just doesn't have the knack or just no luck. I don't, I'm not sure what it is. If ever he should have scored, it was right in that play. I remember uh, when Rich Beaupre, who played for North Norfolk, right. went to Clarkson. I mean, he oh. had scored tons of goals for Elmira, and it took him until the end of the year, until after Christmas, rather, to get a goal for Clarkson. Puck in behind the net. Messina controls. But he finally did get the goal. Then they started to come. But it's one of those situations where, you know, a player can get snake bit, they call it, and just can't put the puck in the net. Here comes Timmy Thompson controlling for Messina. Whoa, he almost lost it, but gets it back again. Trying to head man. Intercepted there by Cushman. Right back in the Plattsburgh zone. Here's a shot. Kenny makes a save with a blocker. Puck in the corner. Shot goes to the side of the net. I guess we could give Kenny a save on that. It may have gone in had he not been there. And he holds on, and we'll have a face-off in the Messina zone. And uh, we're down to 13-11 left to play, period number two. And coming out will be the Messina third line, Convertini, Bigelow, and Wiley. Jason Labarge and Tommy Post coming out to play the points. And for Plattsburgh, we've got Reed and Dufresne on defense, and it's going to be the Tremblay line. Off the faceoff, puck dumped by Plattsburgh all the way back in their own end. They miss connections. Goaltender Miller feeds it up to the Messina blue line. In the zone, controlled by Post. Post steps right in front of his own net. Of course, nobody for Plattsburgh there as they back out of the zone. Head man pass right on the stick of Convertini. The shot. Oh, he no, he tried to pass it to Wiley, and Wiley misfired on it. Thought he was going to shoot. Now it's back the other way. Dufresne loses. Here's Wiley turning it around, backhanding it in the Plattsburgh zone. Trombley back after it, feeds it along the boards. Wiley steps in front of it, takes it into the corner. Wiley from Messina, rubbed into the boards by Reed. Reed loses to Convertini, trying to sweep it back to the point, but it's controlled by Plattsburgh, Dave Trombley. Trombley across the blue line, coming in on post. Trombley trying to drop it back, intercepted Bigelow. Bigelow clears the zone. Here comes Bigelow down the left wing side from Messina. Bigelow skates it in, trying to beat Convertini. Convertini shot, save the rebound, another save. Goes to the side of the net. And Jason Miller holds on, and again, Messina with some chances. All right, a uh, couple good uh, chances right there. Of course, right in a row, and uh, Jason Miller making uh, two good saves, uh, one on Conver, uh, see, one on Convertini and one on Bigelow. Faceoff will be in the Plattsburgh <clears throat> zone. It's in the second period, and Messina leads 2-1. to one. That third line has played well today. They've they have, had some they've good opportunities. Good opportunities. Craner line back out there for Messina. And it's going to be uh, Mark Jolin's line for Plattsburgh. Off the faceoff, back to the point. It goes by Post, and he has to come back for it. Post and Labarge to Labarge. Trying to feed it up along the boards. It's poked away from him, and he kind of falls down, being forechecked by Rasco. Now Parker comes back to help out. Picks up the loose puck, feeding it for Craner. Craner can't control it. It's dumped by Eric Reed back in behind the Messina net. Post with it. Swipes it around the boards. Rasco stops it there, looking to move it along the boards. Rasco jams along with Labarge. Labarge ties it up. And we'll have a face-off with 11.45 left to play in the second period. Messina still leads 2-1. to one. And they pretty much, uh, Fauché, by the way, is out of the penalty box as his misconduct has been served. Messina pretty much controlling play here in the second period. But not too much to show on the scoreboard. With only two not goals yet. up there from Messina Red Raiders. Off the face-off, puck controlled out to center ice by Parker. Parker takes it in the zone, right side. Parker from Messina gets by the defense, comes out in front, gets a shot, a weak one on, save made by Miller. Plattsburgh trying to move it out of there. It's Jolin. Jolin and Tayo along the boards. They jam at it. Puck still at the blue line. Schneider takes a whack at it. Tayo gets knocked down. Schneider comes in there. Tayo steps up. He's got the puck. They move it along, and finally we're going to have a whistle as they tie it up right out by the blue line. A couple of Plattsburgh players involved in that along with uh, Messina's Tayo and Schneider. And the faceoff will come just inside Plattsburgh territory. Mark Jolin will draw against Kevin Craner. 11-20 left. Second period, 2-1 Messina. Over Plattsburgh, off the face, puck sitting top of the circle, gets bounced back to the blue line, but not out of there. Now it's backhanded, again not out, kept up, it comes out now as Tayo couldn't find the handle. Backhanded in the Messina zone, Chris Sidden. Over to Schneider, headman goes to Craner, Craner directs it ahead to Tayo. Tayo takes it in the zone, has it taken away by Horner, back out. Now Sidden follows, takes it across, a quick shot, big save on the toe by Miller. The rebound bouncing in the slot. Craner shot. Knocked down by a body. Miller comes way out of his net to clear it. Back to the blue line, but not out. Comes in behind the net. Tyre, or Craner, rather, trying to center it. Sidden takes a whack at it. Can't keep it in. Has to circle back to the red line. 
Dumps it back in the zone again as Messina makes a line change. The puck comes free to Rasko. Rasko moving down the right side. Johnson throws a check, and the puck dumped in the Messina zone. Back for it is Pat Tracy. Tracy slides it around the boards, gets by the defenseman. Here's Tracy in his own end for Messina, moving it up along. Johnson back to Tracy. Pat controls it. Here comes Pat Tracy across the blue line, but Fauché was inside the zone, and an offsides will be called on Messina. Jeff uh, valiantly trying to get out of there, but he couldn't in time, and Pat didn't see him, so the faceoff will move outside the zone. 10-19 left, second period. Messina leads it 2-1. to one. And Jason Miller in Plattsburgh playing very, very well, Jerry. He's a good he's good he goaltender. You can tell by the way he handles yes, his stick. I just said he handles himself well in there. Yep. yep. Off the face off. Here's Johnson backhanding into the zone. Tracy now follows it into the corner. Pat Tracy from Messina with a puck rubbed into the boards by Eric Reed. Reed trying to swipe it ahead. Fauché picks it up. Fauché back in behind it. Pat Tracy trying to get it back to Fauché gets it back again. Tracy behind the net from Messina. Tracy controls it into the corner. Circles back again the other way. Drops for Fauché. Fauché goes to Johnson at the 45. Johnson, sharp angle, takes by the defense. Backhand pass goes into the corner again as Miller got a stick on it, the goalie. Controlled by Johnson. Back to the point, Timmy Thompson. Thompson trying to slide it through, and it's intercepted there, and it's back out to center ice by Skoski. Skoski just shovels it in the Messina zone. Jimmy Kenny stops it behind the net, leaves it for Thompson. Thompson feeding ahead for Fauché. Fauché gets knocked down. The puck comes back to him into the slot. Thompson for Messina. Picks it up off the boards, trying to get it out of there. Kept in. Jamming for it. It's underneath the uh, Plattsburgh player. They get back up and feed it into the corner. Now Tracy gets railed into the boards, and we're going to have a faceoff in Messina territory. Now a little pushing and shoving going on. And the way they're calling this game, I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see some penalties. I don't know. They're unpiling over there in the corner. There really wasn't that much involved. No, I don't think so. We'll I see. I don't know if O'Reilly's... Uh, <laughs> what do you I think? think <laughs> yep, yep, he's going to give it to him. Like I said, the way they're it, calling uh, this game. Matching minors to Skoski and Adams. That was almost nothing, Jerry. I know, I know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so we'll be skating four on four plus the goaltenders. Still 2-1 to one Messina with uh, 9-12 left in the second period. Has not been one of the more exciting games we've seen this year, Reg. No, very almost slow motion type yeah. of game. We've got Convertini coming out along with Bigelow, Labarge, and Post. Off the face, puck back out to center ice. Racing for it for Plattsburgh and picking it up, they control. Here comes Eric Reed. The shot, whoa, he fired it wide, but not by much. Rebound, picked up by Bigelow. Ahead to Convertini, across the blue line, offsides the call. And I think uh, Jeff Bigelow just a little bit ahead of the play that time, and he's called for the offside, and the faceoff will move back outside Plattsburgh territory. Of course, the reason Convertini, or Bigelow is offside is Convertini got upended at the blue line. Messina bench calling for a tripping call, but... It's not it. Here's Jason Labarge, steps across the red line, takes it across. Labarge trying to drop it to Bigelow. Bigelow has it swept away, and Plattsburgh's Reed comes back the other way, feeding it over on the right side for Cushman. Cushman in behind the net for Tremblay. Tremblay has it poked away, picked up by Post. Post being forechecked by Cushman. Cushman steals the puck, comes back with it behind the net. Here's Cushman centering. Kinney gets a stick on it. Into the corner it goes. Bigelow for Messina. Headman of Convertini. Convertini clears the zone. Controlled by Plattsburgh's Reed. Convertini picks up the loose puck. Convertini takes a shot. Reed knocks it down. Convertini picks it up again at the blue line and sweeps it into the corner and goes after it. Tony with a puck now waiting for somebody. Feeding through Tayo, but a little bit too far in front of him. And the puck swept back out to center ice. Now Schneider moving it ahead into the zone. Back out again it comes to the, Platt, through the Messina blue line. Sidden back the other way. Sidden gets by a check, takes it to Craner. Craner hit the goalpost, rebound, score, Tayo! Jeff Tayo picked up the rebound on the goalpost shot by Kevin Craner, and Messina goes up 3-1. to one. Jeff Tayo right there at the right time as uh, Kevin Craner beat Jason Miller that time, but uh, the goalpost got in the way. But the uh, the dinger well, came that, right back on Tayo's that, that stick. That came right back to Tayo's stick. It couldn't have been better if it was a pass. And uh, looking like a billiard shot off the post back on tile stick in the goal. I think Sidden might pick up an assist as well. Yep. 
Chris Sidden picking up the assist. Or is that Chris Sidon? I, 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 I don't <laughs> I'm not know. Sure. <laughs> okay, off the faceoff, Kevin. Craner controls it. Dipsy dueling. Tile the shot. The save by Miller. The rebound. Bounce back to the blue line. Here's Schneider's shot. Goes wide. Goes to Sidden. Sidden fakes a shot. Here's the drive and the glove save. We got a high stick call on somebody. I think Craner's going to get the gate for high sticking, Reg. Looks like the yep, high stick. Kevin Craner going off. Plattsburgh on a power play. Seven and a half. We're about halfway through the hockey game. 734 exactly. Left to go in the second period. Messina leading it three to one. So Messina will be killing a penalty here. I didn't I didn't see that one. I didn't either. Off the face off Tayo out there, along with Parker, Sidden, and Schneider. Plattsburgh, the Bucci line out. Bucci out with Brown and Skoski. Off the face off puck stolen momentarily by Parker. Oh boy, they called a tripping on that. <laughs> Plattsburgh gets a tripping you know, call. They say sometimes they don't want to let things get out of hand. They haven't got to worry about anything getting out of hand today. <laughs> That's going to go oh, to Eric Brown. And he's going to be called for tripping up uh, Chris Parker. So that'll make four on four. <laughs> and that'll nullify the Plattsburgh power play. Goes to Eric Reed in the corner in his own end for Plattsburgh. Headman pass goes down the ice, but it's going to go right on Jimmy Kenny. He'll have to make the save and leave it for Brett Schneider. Schneider starts out left side. Headman pass. Here comes Tile back from Messina. He's got Parker with him trying to get by the check. He loses the puck. Following in is Schneider, and he fires it into the corner, goes after it, gets by a check. Schneider goes back to Sidden at the point. Quick shot. Oh, Ooh. nice save by Miller. Whoa. As the hat one was labeled I, I, for the corner. I think Chris Sidden thought he had a goal there, as he just would, would have been just inside the post with the old left glove of Jason Miller. Plattsburgh came up That's and a quick save. glove. That was a quick glove. It sure was, because that shot, he was only about 15 feet away when he let that shot go. That was a beautiful shot by yeah. Sidden. It really was. But uh, nice glove save by Miller. Puck goes into the corner. Back there is Eric Reed for the Hornets. Reed circling around now. Ty trying to forecheck him a bit. Reed fires it out to center ice. Stopped at the blue line by Schneider. And Parker comes back to pick it up. Gets by a check. Tile picks up the loose puck. Tile skates it into the zone. Trying to backhand it to Sidden. It's intercepted. Back out. No, it didn't get out as Tile keeps it in. Miller plays it. The goaltender back out to center ice. Sitting from Messina has to wait for Tile, and actually he doesn't have to wait because Tile can come out after the puck goes in there, but he did anyway. Now the puck controlled by Connor Dufresne. Dufresne just slides it to center ice. Adams and O'Reilly got mixed up there, the official, and the puck comes back to the blue line, back in again off sides will be called against Plattsburgh, and, and the faceoff will come just outside Messina territory. That should be an interference call on Riley, wasn't it? <laughs> Riley was in the way. Interference call on... And referee O'Reilly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got, uh, what, one second left in the Messina penalty to Craner. And then Messina will go on the power play. Plattsburgh dumps it in the zone. Kenny stops at side of the net, leaves it for Thompson. Timmy starts out for Messina. Headman pass, Tracy ahead, Fauché. Fauché trying to slide it through, knocked down, gets it back again. Poke checked away out to center ice. Thompson. Goes back to Tracy. Tracy feeds it to Adams on the other side. Adams head man. Johnson breaks the shot. And I think Miller made a save with a stick. It wasn't a hard shot. Okay, now the puck picked up behind the net. Fauché wraps it around. <laughs> and oh. the goaltender somehow managed to knock the net over. And, of course, the Messina That's bench the trying for a oh. delay of game. You're talking about knocking the net over. He, the net did go over. And there was it nobody did. around it except the goaltender. Yeah. <laughs> 5.33 left to play here. Second period. Messina leads it 3-1. to one. Messina would have had a good opportunity to go 4-1 to one there, except the, uh, uh, the net not only came loose, it came loose and tipped right over. <laughs> <laughs> and so the faceoff will come in uh, Plattsburgh territory to the left of goaltender Jason Miller. <clears throat> Louis Trevino did not agree with that call. Louis, Louis looking for a penalty. Or the lack of a call. <laughs> the lack right? of a call, I guess, yes. <laughs> Tracy will face it off against Jolin. <laughs> We're still waiting uh, for the face-off here. 
We're still waiting for the faceoff. There we go. Off the draw, the puck comes side of the net. Jason Miller with it. Backhands it to the blue line. Kept in by Adams. Adams feeds it in. We're back to even strength, both clubs. Controlled by Fauche. Along the boards it goes. Warren Horner picks it up. Tracy steps in front of his pass. Goes to Fauche. Fauche back to Tracy. Side of the net, trying to center it. Goes back to the point. Kept in. Adams, the drive. Hits the goal post. Mike Adams with a drive hit the goal post, and Plattsburgh's going to ice the puck. But I think that's going to die before it gets across the red line. Thompson has to pick it up. Thompson feeds to Adams. Adams stepping by one check, stepping by another. Here comes Mike controlling the puck across the blue line. Adams drop pass intercepted, but not out. Kept in by Tracy. Tracy takes a whack at it. Puck comes free in the slot, jamming for it, controlled by the Hornets. Back to the point, Thompson. Thompson drive goes wide, knocked down by the defense. Johnson after it, jams for it along with Chauvin. Chauvin controls behind the net, feeding it up along the boards. Still not out of there. Kept in at the point. Tracy, the shot goes wide. Puck comes to Fauche, fakes the wraparound, goes the other side, and it goes back in the back of the net, and it gets tied up in the cage, and we'll have a faceoff right side in Plattsburgh zone, and again, a lot of pressure by of, that line. A lot of pressure by the second line, Tracy Fauche and uh, Johnson doing a good <clears throat> job around the uh, Jason Miller net of uh, Plattsburgh, but Unable to score, the score still reads. Messina 3, Plattsburgh 1. We've got 4.27 to go in the second period. Let's see, is that Tommy Moore out there on the left wing? Yep, Convertini, Moore, and McCracken now for Messina. Off the faceoff, the Hornets control it out to center ice. Jason Labard speeds it back in the other end. It comes right back out to Tommy Moore. We have a whistle. And there's an injured player down right in front of the Messina bench for Plattsburgh. Plattsburgh. Player down. I didn't see what happened there, Jerry. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what happened. But uh, Coach Don Pomeroy is out on the ice uh, administering to him right now. 4.18 left to go here in period number two. Messina on top, 3-1. to one. And uh, they pretty much, uh, not too much action for Jimmy Kenny this period. I've got it down for two saves. I think uh, one of them was a clearing shot from uh, <laughs> Ogdensburg's own, or uh, uh, Plattsburgh's yeah. own end. I think Miller's got about 12 saves right now. So all the only action has been in the Plattsburgh end, and Jason Miller doing a, a good job for Plattsburgh. Uh, he's a good goalie. He's keeping more, more or less Plattsburgh in the game. If it wasn't for uh, Jason Miller, uh, I don't think Plattsburgh would be in the game, Jerry. Three to one, the score. Messina leading by a couple. Jason Labarge and uh, yeah. also Post out there. Tommy Post playing defense. And the Convertini line stays out there. Convertini, Moore, and McCracken. And it's the Tremblay line. Off the face off, the puck comes back to the Messina blue line. Post circles, goes over to Labarge. Labarge starts out. Oh, headman pass, goes off Convertini's stick right on. And Miller has to play it back to the blue line, out to center ice. Labarge. Circles again, feeding it ahead. Delay off sides, but Plattsburgh controls it. It's Eric Reed. Reed for Messina. Dumps it right on. But again, from center ice, Kenny has to make uh, not a very hard save. Puck around the boards. Post has it poke checked away. Convertini back to pick it up. Here comes Tony looking up. He's going to carry it himself. Now he headmans it. Tommy Moore with it across the blue line. McCracken gets called for the offside. And a faceoff will move back outside again with 3.41 left in the second period. And Messina will come back with the Kevin Craner line now. And Sidden and Schneider back out on the points. Tremblay's line will stay out there. Tremblay, Miller, and uh, Cushman. Off the faceoff, puck back in the Messina zone. After to Schneider for the Raiders. Schneider picking it up. Goes to Parker on the wing. Parker starts out. Long headman pass goes off a leg deep. And they're going to call an icing yep. on that. It went off a Plattsburgh leg, but icing is the call. They'll move it back in the Messina zone. And the faceoff will come to the right side of Jimmy Kenny. Faceoff right side. Now coming out will be Bucci and his line mates off the draw. Craner trying to move it out of there. He can't. Comes along the blue line. They jam for it. Finally, Sidden picks up the loose puck. Headman pass. Goes off Tayo's stick back into the Plattsburgh end. Tayo trying to control it. Parker takes a whack at it. Craner picks it up. Here's Craner right side centering pass. Parker trying to get it right in front. And the puck cleared into the corner. Tayo after it. Craner the backhander. Score! Oh, oh, oh. 
and Craner didn't wait at all as he just took a whack at it. The puck came free, and Messina goes on top 4-1 to one as Kevin Craner gets a backhand goal. And again, he just took a swipe at it, and I think he caught Miller off well, guard. He, he did. Not only that, he caught him off guard. He caught him back in the uh, net. It I think it bounced off on his arm or his pad. I'm not sure. Wait, but that's the advantage of a, of a quick backhand. Uh, you kept the, catch the uh, goalie napping sometimes. Craner getting the goal. Parker picking up an assist. Puck poked free in the Messina zone. They try to center it. Kenny dumps on top of it. As the Plattsburgh player had lost his stick, Rob Skoski. And he tried to he tried to tie it up, and Tayo just railed him into the boards. The faceoff will come in the Messina zone to the left side. Bucci to take the faceoff against Craner. Messina leading 4-1 to one now with 2.50 left in the second period. Off the draw, Tayo after it, feeds it ahead for Craner. Craner trying to slide it out of the zone. Poked ahead, and he picks it up again. Circles back. Here's Kevin Craner sliding it ahead right on the stick of Tayo. Tayo feeds Parker across the blue line, has it poked away, trying to poke it back again, but it's controlled by Skoski. He dumps it down the ice. That'll be an icing call against Plattsburgh, and he'll move the faceoff back in their end with two and a half left to play here. Period number two, Messina on top, four to one. Raiders scored the first goal, Plattsburgh tied it, but since then it's been Messina with three tallies and a three goal cushion right now. Right, that first line accounted for all the goals today for Messina. Tire with two, Parker for one, and Craner with one. Although the other lines have had great that, opportunities. They, have. they really have, they just haven't been able to beat Miller yet. Here's Fauché back to the point. Goes to Adams, bounced off his stick. Mike follows it into the corner for Messina. Trying to center it, goes in behind the net. Quick attempted wraparound. Jeff Johnson, the save made as he took the spin around shot from the right side. Puck controlled by Plattsburgh out to center ice. Sean Rasco. Rasco just dumps it in the Messina end. In behind the net, Thompson has it taken away. But it comes to Tracy, breaking it out again. Here comes Johnson. Johnson turning on the speed, breaks in on the right side, has it poked away, centers it right across the goal mouth. But Tracy didn't see it. Puck comes free. Fauché behind the net. Trying to go to Johnson. Dumped back to the point. Mike Adams with it. Quick wrist shot. Knocked down. Goes in the corner. Now Johnson picking it up. Feeding it. Fauché. Fauché back to Johnson in the corner. Back to Fauché. The, oh, Miller made a nice play to get a stick on it. It feeds over on the right side. Dufresne trying to clear it out of there. He does. Here comes Plattsburgh's Tremblay. Tremblay. The shot from the blue line. Kinney makes the save. Gives up the rebound. Here's a follow-up shot. Another save by Kinney. It's in his equipment. And the faceoff will come in Messina territory. That shot again, like most of the others, James, just inside the blue line, Jerry. I, yep. I don't think they really had a shot in close. The rebound was given up by mm -hmm. Kenny, and the second shot came, but it came from the side of the uh, net, actually. So uh, I suppose you could give Kenny a save on that. Down to 129 in the second period, Messina's up. 4-1. to one. Convertini's line out there now against the Bucci line. Faceoff in the Messina zone. Labarge and Post right off the faceoff, a shot, and Kenny makes the save. We're down to 126 remaining in the second period. 4-1 to one Messina. Off the faceoff. Puck sits in the circle. Now it comes to Labarge. Labarge moves it ahead. And Wiley gets it out to center ice. It's dumped right back in by Plattsburgh. In behind the net. Post with it. Sweeps it around the boards for Wiley. Wiley loses it. It comes back in the corner. Labarge with it. Labarge gets by a check. It's knocked down. The puck pokes free. Labarge stays with it. Feeds it over on the other side. Wiley after it again. Trying to move it ahead to Convertini. Convertini, long headman pass. Bigelow breaking in left side. Jeff Bigelow, the shot saved by Miller. Kind of a sharp angle there, and Miller came out and cut well, down the angle Miller, well. Miller came out well on that. You know, there could have been a better opportunity, say, if Miller was caught back in. But this time, Miller came out. Boy, Miller's a big boy. He covers a lot of that net, Jerry. There was not really. Bigelow had nothing to shoot at when uh, Miller came out of the net. There was no net at all to shoot at. Good move by Jason Miller. He is the number one man for Plattsburgh, without a doubt. <laughs> without a doubt. <laughs> 54 seconds left in the second period. 4-1 to one our score. The Raiders uh, leading it. WMSA, Messina, New York. Sports voice of the Messina Hockey Red Raiders. Trombley will draw against Craner. They still haven't dropped the puck yet. There we go. Off the faceoff comes to Tayo. He just swipes it in behind the net. Back forward is Chauvin. 
Chauvin trying to come out right side. Headman pass. They move it out to center ice. Parker stops it there, dumps it right back in again. Goes in on Miller, not on net. And he's going to swipe it back out to center ice again. Control by Skoski. Skoski into the Messina zone. Fires it in the goal mouth, but Messina breaks the other way. Headman goes to Parker. A little bit too far. Dumped back out to center ice. Coming back for it, Parker again across the blue line. Chris with a puck now. Circles it back to Sidden at the point. Sidden shot knocked down. Comes to Parker, side of the net. Bouncing, Craner fired it wide. Craner again just trying to take that quick shot. Ten seconds left as the puck comes out to center ice. Picked up by Craner. Oh, the big drive. Oh, boy, he didn't miss by much. And it bounces all the way back out to center ice. That'll take care of the period right there. And the Messina Red Raiders will go into the locker room, having scored the only three goals in the period and leading it on a 4-1 to one count. Messina leads Plattsburgh 4-1 to one after two periods. Our coverage of Messina Dufresne and Reed on defense from Messina. Schneider and Sidden off the faceoff. Puck comes to the Messina blue line. Jumped over Brett Schneider's stick. Comes back in the Messina end. Schneider feeds it over to Sidden. Sidden up along the boards. Messina trying to clear the zone. Parker with it. Parker can't get it out of there. And here comes an opportunity for Cushman. Shot, ooh, just wide. And the puck comes around the boards. Tayo trying to move it out of there. Gets it poked away. Comes back for it. Plattsburgh trying to put a little pressure on. It comes to Schneider. Schneider just shovels it into the corner. Jeff Tayo picking it up. Tayo moving it back in again. Being forechecked. Picks it up. Takes it behind the net. Here comes Tayo. Moving it up along the boards. Out to center ice. To Parker. And Parker just shovels it. In the Messina, or into the Plattsburgh again. Dufresne back to the blue line. Schneider keeping it in. Trying to feed it in the corner. Back to Dufresne. To the blue line. Not out of there. Tayo picking up the loose puck. Has it poke checked away. They jam for it. And finally, Plattsburgh's Cushman clears the zone. Dumps to the Messina blue line. Schneider gets it right back out again. Comes to Eric Reed. Reed the shot from center ice. That's high and wide. Puck whistles around the boards. Throwing a check is Fauche. Puck bounces free in behind the net. Controlling it for Plattsburgh. Skoski, Skoski shot right on. The save made. I think it was a save anyway. And the puck controlled by Jeff Johnson. Ahead to Fauche. Jeff Fauche crossed the blue line, trying to dump it through to Johnson. He got upended. Puck comes to Tracy. Tracy shovels it in the corner. Johnson can't control. It comes to Chauvin. Chauvin moving it up, stepping in front of it. Fauche centering right in front. Oh, Johnson can't find it. Somebody got a shot on. The save made by Miller. And it's out to center ice again. In fact, all the way back in the Messina zone. Picked up by Mike Adams. Adams steps by a check. Feeds it ahead right on the stick of Tracy. Tracy trying to get it ahead to Fauche. Too far. They wave the icing off as it comes back in the Plattsburgh zone. Luckin after it. Luckin and Fauche jam. Tracy comes in to help out. The puck's still free, apparently. Now Luckin falls on top of it. And we'll have a faceoff. Uh, two minutes gone by here in the third period. Messina's still leading 4-1. to one. Now Plattsburgh will make a line change here. A wholesale change, as a matter of fact, as Mark Jolin's line comes out and uh, Dufresne and Reed come out to play defense. Tracy's line stays out from Messina, Adams, and Thompson, the two defensemen. Right to Adams, off the faceoff. His drive goes wide. Puck around the boards. Thompson steps into it, feeds it ahead. Poke check back out to center ice. Tracy has to come back for it. Pat with a puck now, circling by one, feeding ahead for Fauche, intercepted, and back to the Messina blue line. Thompson. Thompson has it poked away, gets it back again, feeds it outside. Plattsburgh trying to clear it into the zone. They got an opportunity, but the puck behind into the corner. Trying to center it. Knocked down by Thompson. Takes it around behind. Goes to Johnson. Johnson sliding it ahead a little bit too far. Goes back in the Plattsburgh zone. Miller's going to play it. Boy, I'll tell you, he's good with that stick. He feeds it back out to center ice. Messina making a change now. Bigelow with a puck. Sharp angle shot saved by Jason Miller. Bigelow fires into the corner. Goes after it. Puck along the board, stepping in front of it is Brett Schneider trying to go to Convertini. Schneider with it, feeds it back into the corner again. Connor Dufresne. Dufresne over on the other side. Scotty McCracken. Centering pass right across the goal mouth. Dump back to the point. Sidden with it. His shot. Knocked down. Goes in behind the net. Whistled around the boards as uh, Plattsburgh trying to clear the zone. Stolen away. McCracken. McCracken jamming along the boards. Convertini comes in to help out. But it's controlled by Plattsburgh's Rasco. He dumps it to the Messina blue line. Brett Schneider is there. His pass ahead knocked down. Gets it back again. Shovels it into the Plattsburgh zone right back out again. And it's picked up by Convertini. Into the zone again. Leaving for McCracken. Poked away from him to the Messina blue line. Schneider feeds it ahead into the Plattsburgh zone. 
kind of playing between the blue lines right now as Plattsburgh's uh, defenseman Eric Reed backhands it up into the Plattsburgh bench. We're down to 11:29 left in the third period, still four to one for Messina. In the Craner line uh, out there for Messina, <clears throat> at Craner center, Jeff Tyo on the left wing, Chris Parker on the right wing, Adam and Thompson back on defense. Face off in the Plattsburgh zone, Messina up four to one. Dave Trombley will take the draw off the face off Adams over to Thompson. Thompson, the big drive and the glove save by Miller, and he holds on as both Kevin Craner and Jeff Ty were right on top of him. I think one thing, you're not going to score on Miller shooting from the blue line. No, it <laughs> no doesn't way. look like it, not unless there's a deflection <laughs> yeah. or something. Uh. Craner will draw again. Yeah, he's, uh, I think, between he and the, the kid Casca from time and the two best goaltenders I've seen this year as far as high school is concerned. Off the face, goes to Tile, drop pass to Adams. Adams drive, that's way wide. Maybe looking for a deflection. Thompson pinches in, keeps it in, goes in the slot. Quick shot, fired high over the net by Tile. Adams keeps it in left point, or tries to, but it goes out to center ice. And Parker picks up the loose one. Here's Parker across the blue line. Parker takes it by one, by two. Centering pass right in front, Tayo shot, knocked down. Nice pass by Parker. Tayo in the corner. Back to the point he goes. Adams, I think, has lost. No, he's got his stick. Feeds to Craner. Craner trying to drop it back to Adams. They're messing around with it at the point. Comes out to center ice as Trombley feeds it to the Messina blue line. Craner back to pick it up. Across. Here comes Kevin Craner. Drop pass. Parker's shot goes high and wide. Puck around the boards. Back to pick it up is Cushman. Cushman trying to clear the zone. Tayo steals in front and slides it on. And I guess we'll give Miller a save as the puck comes back to the blue line. Over to Thompson. Thompson's drive. Gloves saved by Miller again. A lot of traffic in front of him that time. Well, uh, a lot of effort there. A good effort by the Messina. Uh, first line of Craner, Parker, and Tyo. I, I thought they played well today, Jerry. And one thing I noticed out there, they're looking for each other. Yeah. They yeah. Are, and they're, they're skating well without the puck, putting themselves in good position. I think that's why they've accounted for the four goals that Messina has. Off the face, off the Tracy line. Foshe has it taken away from him. Here comes Skoski. Skoski's just going to dump in behind the net. Kenny leaves it for Brett Schneider, feeding it up along the boards. Foshe. Foshe can't get it out of there. Here's a shot taken, goes wide. In the corner now, it's Skoski again. Centers it right in front. Kenny jumps on top of it. And he just stopped the centering pass with his stick and covered it with a glove. And the faceoff will come in the Messina zone. Plattsburgh dump and run here. They really just dump the puck in and go after it. Not, not really controlling it very much at all. Off the faceoff. Puck goes in behind the net. Sitting with it. Backhands it around to Schneider. Schneider head man. Tracy. Tracy loses it. Back to the Messina zone and in the corner again. Icing will be called as that was uh, fired by Plattsburgh from the wrong side of the red line. And we played one second shy of five minutes here in the third period. Messina on top four to one. So the, as we mentioned, the Messina first line has accounted for all the goals in this game. Jeff Tyo with two of them. And Convertini will take the face off. Of course, there was that one that Chris Sidden may have had, except for a great save by Miller. Back to the blue line. Bigelow with it, trying to feed it back to Adams. His shot. I don't think it was on, but the goalie got a piece of it anyway. Convertini centers it right in front. Meant for Wiley. Wiley back to Convertini. Quick shot. Save again by Miller. And, oh, uh, he is an quick. Another another good chance as Camertini came into the slot. He let the quick wrist shot go. But but just before he skated in there, Miller came out, Jerry, to cut down the angle. He anticipates he, well. Yeah, that's right. That's really right. Does. He yeah. saw what was yeah. going to happen yep. and made his move before Convertini had a chance yep. to get the shot off. Again, the faceoff in the circle. Convertini, where is it? It's underneath him. Now controlled by Plattsburgh defenseman Reed. Backhands it over on the other side. Bigelow trying to forecheck. Goes back to the point. Adams, the big drive, knocked down in front. Back to Adams again. Mike Wines, the drive knocked down by Skoski. Comes in the corner. Wiley from Messina after it. Has it taken away. Bigelow takes a whack at it. It's backhanded out to center ice. Thompson right back in the zone again. Controlled by Reed. Reed trying to feed it ahead for Skoski. Taken out of the play. The puck slides back in the Messina zone. Thompson after it. Thompson picking up the loose puck, feeding it around for Wiley. Drop pass back to Thompson. Thompson head man. Bigelow, Bigelow trying to hit Convertini. Goes behind him. Connor Larkin controls it out to center ice. Convertini throws a check. The puck pokes free. Thompson, head man pass into the zone. Oh, offsides. That wasn't offsides, too. As uh, Messina in the middle of a line change at the time. They'll get that Craner line back out there. 
And we're down to 8.53 left to go in period number three. Messina on top, four to one. Now, a few more people coming in, uh, I guess, uh, for the Ogdensburg game, which is scheduled to go at 3 o'clock this afternoon, maybe a little bit later than that. Off the faceoff, head man, here's Tayo across the blue line. Tayo through the middle, trying to get the shot off, but Miller gets a stick on it. Bouncing puck in front, here's Parker. Oh, the big save by Miller again. I thought they were going to catch him that time, but they didn't. Back comes Plattsburgh the other way. Here's Horner trying to feed it through the middle. Intercepted tile back the other way. Messina with a three on two. Here's Kevin Craner leading the attack across the blue line. Craner takes it right in front. Tile deflected. Oh, another save by Miller as he came out again and broke up the play. Now controlled to center ice by Horner. Intercepted by Sidden. Sidden over to Schneider. Schneider off Craner's stick in the zone. Back out again. Comes to Tile. Tile dumps it back in again. And Messina's going to make a line change here as the Pat Tracy line comes out. Puck deep in the Plattsburgh zone, bouncing off the boards. Adams trying to keep it in. He does. It's right at the blue line. They jam at it, and it comes to Foshe. Foshe centers Trace or Johnson. Johnson, right short side shot. Another save by Miller. Puck comes to Foshe. Foshe steps by a check. Here's Tracy. Misfired over to Johnson. Shot score! And Pat Tracy picks up another assist. And he actually had a shot, but he misfired on it, but had the presence of mind to pass it over to Johnson, who was over on the left side of the goalie, and he had no chance. The goalie didn't, and Messina goes on top 5-1. to one. Johnson will get the goal from Tracy and Foshe, and the second line breaks into the scoring. That was a nice pass by uh, Pat Tracy. Uh, <clears throat> I think out the corner of his eye, he saw Johnson over there in the corner of the net. Threw it over to Johnson as he did. Uh, the goalie went down. He put it over the goalie. It's now it's 5-1, to one, Messina. Here's Foshe again. Dumps it into the Plattsburgh zone. Foshe from Messina racing for it. Takes it behind the net. Feeding Jeff Johnson in the 45. Here's Johnson into the faceoff circle. Quick wrist shot. Hit the goalpost. <laughs> I'm sure everybody listening in could hear that one. And Plattsburgh dumps in the Messina zone. And Larry holds on, or not Larry, but uh, Kenny holds on to it. And he'll have a faceoff. I think that's the only the second save that Jimmy Kenny has had in this period. And there's going to be a penalty as right. uh, Plattsburgh Steve Miller took a shot at Mike Adams. Now, I'm not sure what Adam, Adams probably did something to uh, uh, alleviate that, but that was a retaliation shot. But Miller made the mistake of doing it right in front of the official. And he just took a shot at, uh, at Adams. And uh, so Messina will go on the power play. Pat Tracy's line back out there for Messina. <clears throat> Off the faceoff comes to Thompson. Thompson feeding Mike Adams. Adams. Headman goes to Thompson. Thompson to Foshe. Foshe breaks in left side. Here's Jeffrey with a puck now. Drops it in behind the net. Back there is Eric Reed for it. Along the boards, Adams. Adams, the drive. Deflected in front. Knocked down. Picked up by Johnson. Johnson centering. Foshe takes a whack at it. And I don't know if Miller got a save. Or, yeah, perhaps he did get a save. But anyway, the puck comes in behind the net. Reed with it for Plattsburgh. Reed moves it up along the boards and dumps it down the ice. Nice job by Eric Reed that time to control the puck for Plattsburgh. Pat Tracy with it. Oh, he just got railed into the boards. Picking up the loose puck is Adams. Adams starts back from Messina. Headman pass off the boards. Meant for Johnson. Intercepted. Dumped back in the Messina zone. 45 seconds left in the penalty. 5-1 to one, Messina leading here. We're in the third period. Puck controlled by Plattsburgh in the Messina zone. They're just going to waste some time. That's Cushman moving it out to center ice. Drops it for Reed. Reed gets upended. Puck comes free to Tremblay. Tremblay in his own end, circling around and bounces it back to the Messina blue line. Mike Adams is there. Here's Adams, head man for Tracy. Tracy across the blue line. Gets by the defense. Here comes Tracy with it. Side of the net in behind now. Couldn't quite find the handle. Trying to feed it in front. Here's Tracy moving it around. He gets upended. Goes back to Schneider. Schneider feeds it behind the net. Six seconds left in the power play. Tayo with it. Tayo. I think they're trying to get Pat a chance to score a goal here. What do you think, Reg? It looks like it. Here comes Tayo trying to feed it right in front. Comes back to Sidden. Sidden circling in the corner. Penalty is up. Back to Craner. Craner fakes the shot. Slides it to Sidden. Sidden sharp angle right in front. Goes right across the goal mouth. Craner picks it up. Here's Kevin behind the net. Kevin circles into the faceoff circle. The big drive deflected in. 
I think Tile will get the goal. That kicked no. off. You know, yeah, it is Tile. That went off his leg, I believe. The shot, in fact, I thought he might have been called out for kicking. That went off either his leg or his skate. I looked at the referee, Wayne uh, Kumel. I said, hey, maybe he might call out for kicking it in, but the shot was taken on the left side by Craner. It was deflected off Tile. Tile's got to get that goal. That's the hat That's trick. The hat trick for Jeff Tile. So Tile gets the hat trick. Kevin Craner will get the assist. Sidden also picked up an assist on that. And so Messina goes up 6-1. to one. That was not a power play goal, but it looked like it was. It was right at the end of a power play. Off the faceoff. Sidden with a puck. Dumps it. He's going to go right on Miller. He has to make the save and leaves the puck in the corner for Luckin. Luckin being four check. Comes to Schneider. Schneider loses. Back to the blue line, but not out. As Convertini whacks at it, trying to get it to Bigelow. And we're going to have a penalty, and it's going to go against Messina. Tripping call. I think Bigelow is going to get the gate for yep. tripping. Bigelow going off for Messina, so Plattsburgh will go on a power play. 5.02 left to go third period. Messina on top, 6-1. to one. Two goals in the first period, three in the second, two more here in the third as the Raiders in command. <clears throat> and who do we have coming out? Pat Tracy will be out there. And Jeff Foshe, along with Adams and Thompson. Off the face, puck back in the Plattsburgh zone. They control, try to get a power play started. Comes to Thompson. He's just going to dump it back in Plattsburgh territory. Connor Dufresne picks it up. Over to Eric Reed. Foshe forechecking. Reed starts out. It comes to the Messina blue line. Thompson dumps it right back again. Miller is there. He's going to leave it this time. Coming back for it is Reed. Reed leaves it for Skoski. Skoski moving out of the zone. Tracy picks up the loose puck just inside the Messina zone. He falls down. The puck bounces into the corner. Skoski and Tracy jam. Comes back to the blue line. Here's Connor Larkin, shot deflected, oh, just wide, and I mean just wide. Mike Adams picking up the loose puck, ahead for Foshe, and Foshe shovels it out to center ice. Larkin again with it, or Dufresne, rather. And offsides will be called on Plattsburgh as they took it in and had somebody offsides. 36 seconds left in the Plattsburgh power play, 4.08 left in the third period. Messina leading 6-1 to one over Plattsburgh High School. The sad part about this is, Reg, uh, Messina has to play this team twice more this year. Ooh, that's true. <clears throat> Plattsburgh, of course, a Division I uh, team, so Division I teams play all other teams, uh, home and home. And this is more or less an exhibition-type game. Yeah, if you want to call it that. Off the faceoff, Tayo trying to feed it through to Johnson, but it's poked away. And controlled by Plattsburgh. Puck comes free at the blue line. Dumped into the Messina zone. Back there is Chris Sidden for the Raiders. Just takes the big whack at it. Down the ice it goes. 17, 16, 15 seconds left in the power play. In behind the net, Dufresne picking it up. Feeding it ahead for Reed. Back to Dufresne. Seven seconds left. Plattsburgh's doing Messina's job for him right now as they have trouble clearing their own end. Now they do. Here comes Tremblay. Tremblay across the blue line. Into the zone it goes. Hard check thrown. Back to the point. There's Reed with it, steps by a check, trying to feed it along the boards. Stepping in front of it is Brett Schneider out to center ice. Puck picked up by Miller. Penalty is up. Messina back to full strength. Stepping in front of it, Jeff Tayo trying to slide it through. He gets tied up. Coming in to help out is Jeff Johnson. He comes away with a puck. He's got Craner with him. Feeds Craner back to Johnson. Johnson, sharp angle shot knocked down by the defense. Johnson trying to center it. Comes to Tayo. Poke check back out to center ice. Down the ice. That'll be an icing call against Plattsburgh High School. Let them move the faceoff back into their own end. Messina leading 6-1 to one with 2.55 left. That Plattsburgh goal came a long time ago. Early in the first period. That's right, early in the fir first period. And, of course, they have not really tested Jimmy Kenny uh, since. Craner's line out there. 2.55 left to play. 6-1, to one, Messina leads. Faceoff Plattsburgh zone. Off the draw. Puck into the slot. Controlled by Chauvin. Chauvin for Plattsburgh, moving it out of there. Intercepted. Here's Adams trying to feed it ahead. Intercepted again. Comes back to the Messina blue line. 
Mike with a puck now for Messina. Backhand pass, Parker. Parker trying to feed it ahead. Intercepted. Tayo comes back for it. Tayo steps by a check. Steps by another one. Into the zone it comes. Trying to poke it ahead. Has it taken away. And it's Craner. Here's Craner. Kevin Craner. Backhander. Knocked down in front. Gets a rebound shot off. And it's wide. Parker picking up the loose puck. Here's Parker stepping by. Gets kind of tied up. Craner comes in to help out. Craner's got it. Tell you what, when Kevin's got the puck, he's hard to knock off it. Finally, Plattsburgh controls it. Still not out of the zone, though. Now they get it out. Intercepted by Parker. Right back in again. Here's Chris stepping by. A oh, through the legs. Pass to Craner. Craner, the quick shot. Knocked out. Oh, jumped over Parker's stick. Back to the point. Adams feeds it in the corner for Bigelow. Messina making a line change here. Bigelow circles. Comes right in front. Centering pass. Right in front. Shot. Score! Craner! As he picked up the rebound on a shot by Eric Wiley. The initial shot was by Jeff Bigelow. Wiley got the second shot. Then Craner followed up. And Kevin Craner gets the goal. And Messina goes up 7-1 to one with 146 remaining to play in the third period. Well, he, they were caught in the midst of a line change as Wiley and uh, Bigelow had come onto the ice. Craner had not uh, gone off the ice yet. As he said, Bigelow took the shot. Save. Uh, Wiley was in there. Shot. Save. Craner picked up the rebound, put it home, Messina 7, uh, Plattsburgh 1. Well, you know, Messina, Kevin Craner is a good player. He's got a nose for when to go in there and when to go after the puck. Puck comes into the Plattsburgh zone again. Messina's got their third line out there now, the Convertini line. Puck slides in the Messina zone, sitting with it. Here comes Chris with a puck for Messina. Headman pass Convertini, drops it back to Sidden. Sidden feeding it ahead from McCracken. McCracken dumps in the Plattsburgh again. Connor Dufresne is there to dump it down the ice. Kenny lets it go, but icing is waved off. Apparently somebody touched it on the way through. In behind the net. Schneider with it. Head man pass. Goes by McCracken. And they're going to wave the icing off there as well. Eric Reed. In behind the net. Taken into the boards. Manages to get it along the boards. Convertini picks it up. Convertini at the blue line, circling. Here's Convertini, sharp angle, shot, score! And that time, that's the first real bad goal that Jason Miller has let in, as Convertini really had a sharp angle shot, and Miller did not cover the post. And Convertini beat, beat him just inside the post. Messina goes up 8-1 to one with 58 seconds left. Convertini. Oh, is that a new goalie? Okay, that's why. I did not see when they changed goalies, but uh, they put uh, their second goalie in, Rob Dandro. No wonder. Now, that explains. <laughs> that makes sense, Jerry. I didn't notice the change myself, Jerry. Sometime in this third period, they made a change, and uh, it made a, a, a big difference, didn't it? <laughs> they wouldn't have scored that on Miller. No. Okay, here comes Johnson, the save made. The rebound dumped, oh, up into the wall. And it was a young lady walking up the stairs who almost got that. Messina 8-1 to one now with 39 seconds left. Yeah, you can see the difference in goaltenders, no doubt about it. I guess uh, Don Pomeroy decided that uh, Jason Miller had seen enough rubber for the afternoon. Back to the point. Here's a shot goes wide. Johnson after it, circling around. Bouncing back to the blue line. Johnson going to Tracy. Pat trying to get the backhander off. Goes in behind the net. Fauché steps by a check. Has it poked away. Picked up by Tracy. Gets a shot off. Knocked down right on the save. Bouncing around in front. Tracy can't find the handle. Now he throws a check. But Plattsburgh controls. Down the ice they come. Here's the big drive. Kenny gloves it. And dumps it into the corner. Controlled by Johnson. Johnson feeding away. The puck along the boards. Pat Tracy with it. Here's Tracy as the game ends, and the Messina Red Raiders skate to an 8-1 to one victory here over the Plattsburgh High School Hornets. And uh, actually, uh, very much like last night's game. Uh, it was close early, but Messina with just so many shots on net, uh, 